What is up, mental patients? It's your boy Tito Tickle Shits here, and I am about to show you five more hilarious fan made Overwatch skins. Well, four fan made Overwatch skins and one sort of cheatsy doodle one, but we'll see. We'll see what you think. Alright, this is, this is just a, a list of skins that I think would be funny to put in the game. I don't necessarily think they would. But, you know, because a lot of times people in the comments will say, you know, well, that, that one, you know, what they won't be adding that because that's stupid. Or they won't be adding that because that wouldn't work. And it's like, yeah, I know. I know. Still, it's just fun. Let's just get started here and get right into it. Number five on our list, Vintage Snowboarder May. Now, this could be seen as a legitimate skin, you know, like not just a funny skin, a comedy skin. But I think it's pretty funny. I think it, I think it, just the idea of... A 1990s snowboarder, extreme sports may, you know, who's like, you know, totally radical and, you know, whatever. Um, I think that's a pretty funny idea. I like the idea of maybe having a funny skin like this and having the voice lines match with it. So, like, when she says, you know, chill out or something like that, she could be like, chill out, bruh! You know, <laughs> something stupid like that. I don't know. I just think it would be funny. Uh, we got up next on our list, I'm just blazing through these fucking things. Number four, Pinata. Uh, a combination of a Pinata and Zenyatta. Uh, yeah, P-I-N-Y-A-T-T-A. -T -T um, I, it should be pretty obvious why this is funny from the beginning. The idea of Zenyatta dressed up as a Pinata, just for the fucking play on words, is, you know, funny to me. Um... Yeah, but pun aside, I think it's also interesting because they changed the uh, orbs into, like, little mini pinatas. Now, I don't know if there would be different shapes in the game. They probably would still all be circles. But, you know, little little globe pinatas would be fine. Um, yeah, I mean, perfect map for playing on Dorado, am I right? Number three on the list is the one that's kind of a bit of a cheat. It's Santa Torbjorn. Santa Torbjorn. I mean, look at look at this shit. The bells on the beard, the bow in the middle of his candy cane claw or whatever the hell it is. Uh, you know, the antlers on the turret. It's so fucking cute and it's funny. And the little skis on the turret. You see the little skis? It's got little skis. Um, here's the thing. This was posted by Blizzard. So I'm not sure if this is planned to be a Christmas skin. Or if it just is, like, fan art that they liked. I haven't been able to find the source of it yet. Maybe I will by the time I, you know, post this in the description. But um, I'm not sure if this is fan art they liked, if it's a promotional image that they don't plan on putting into the game at all, or if it's an actual skin they plan for Christmas. So I'm counting it right now as a fan skin. Because I'm, I, you know, I'm just defaulting to that position. Um, I think it's really hilarious. I mean, can you picture little Torbjorn running around in a little Santa suit. And I don't know what... When he puts down a turret, he could say, I've got a present for ya! You know, that's more of like a pirate accent, but you get the idea. And, you know, just the voice lines could be really cool. Um, when he punches somebody, he could go, Naughty! <laughs> you know, just whatever. I think it would be really funny. Uh, number, what is it, two on the list? Yeah, number two. Um, beach Soldier. Yeah, um, th tell me, okay, the Speedo, the Hawaiian shirt, tell me this doesn't scream like what your tragically uncool dad would wear to the beach while thinking he was awesome. I mean, this just fits the character so perfectly, I think, you know, he would show up to the beach and everybody would be like laughing and pointing or, you know, horrified and he'd be like, what, what's the matter? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? I'm at the beach. I'm here to enjoy myself and relax. I'm airing the boys out, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I, you know, I think that's really kind of a funny look for him. It's really, <laughs> especially the 76 on the butt, you know, pretty funny. Um, the fact that they turned his gun into a super soaker just added, added hilarity, added humor. I personally, if they ever, like, let's say when summer rolls back around, maybe they want to have some, you know skins for the game where it just basically is like, you know, summer's here. Check out, you know, Widowmaker in her bikini. Check out, you know, all these different things. I think that it would be a really good time to add this exact skin. I think it's really fucking funny. I don't know. He's wearing the sandals too, which is like tragically tragically dad. It's a dad thing to do. But yeah. That's number two on our list. And now 
Bum ba da bum 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 bum. Shitty drum roll, please. We are moving up to number one on the list, and what I think is the funniest out of this group of skins. And you know, this is basically just my personal opinion, but I'm a big fan of Junkrat. And when I saw this, I thought it was fucking hilarious. We've got Ratatouille. Or Junk Ratatouille, perhaps? Um, they've turned they've turned Junkrat into a chef. I would assume a French chef. Uh, you may notice that his bombs on his vest are replaced with seasoning. Uh, his wheel is now a pot with, uh, I guess, spikes on it for some reason. And his accoutrement, his um, prosthetics, are now, I guess, silverware. They're, you know, like silver plated or, you know, maybe silver through and through. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just think this is really perfect, and, you know, just aesthetically, the design of it is really great. You know, the checker pattern pants. You know, the attention to detail of giving him the little shoes, I'm not sure what kind of shoes those are called. I want to say spats, but that's probably not the right term. But, you know, every little bit of detail on this is perfect. You know, I could see him, you know, running around in the little apron, because he's got the poofy pants... Uh, when you play as Dr. Junkenstein, he's got, like, the doctor's coat that's, like, a, you know, has a hem to it. So I could really see this, you know, it, it just fits with his design of his character perfectly. And I really think that that's cool. He's got a bit of bit more of a standard haircut because, you know, let's face it, he's working in an upscale restaurant, man. Gotta keep that hair trimmed, gotta keep those locks in check, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, number one. Junk Ratatouille. That's what I like to call him. The actual name is Ratatouille. Links are in the description below to all the different uh, places where I found the artwork. Ideally, properly credited and not stolen from somebody, but you never know with these things. So if you find any interesting skins you want me to take a look at, post them in the description below. Or even if you just have like a description of a skin you saw once, you know, I'll see if I can find it. And you know, maybe I'll make more of these videos if people like them. I don't know, some people like them, some people say, These aren't funny, you don't know what's funny. To which I say, eh, Go in the corner, and fuck yourself. <laughs>